May 24th update below. This post was first published on May 21st, 2022. When Apple reveals its next earbuds, what we're calling AirPods Pro 2 and Apple will, I'm certain, name AirPods Pro second generation, there will be good news for those wanting a big step up in audio innovation. But there will be a sting in the tail, too, in the price. That's according to the latest blog post from at Leaks Apple Pro who, at a drop news has an extensive look at what Apple is likely to reveal at its September event, expected to be the next big event after next month's WWDC. As well as talking about the iPhone 14, there are details of the Pro iPhones due to be announced and Apple Watch Series 8. May 24th update. When it comes to analysts, Ming Chi Kuo is very hard to ignore. And today, in a series of tweets, he has revealed some more key details about the next Pro AirPods. First, he has said that Apple will start mass production of AirPods Pro 2 in the second half of this year, in Vietnam, which he describes as a successful case of mass production of Apple's major products outside China. As the tweets continue, he talks about shifting production from one country to the iPhone, for instance, is a different product, and Quo says it's not easy to establish a complete non-China production site for the phone. He also mentions that setting up facilities in Vietnam instead of India can reduce potential geopolitical risks. But then there's his final tweet and it's the most interesting bit. I predict the charging case of AirPods Pro 2 will support Lightning, not USB-C. Well, that's interesting, and while it doesn't completely contradict what at least Apple Pro says, see below, it's a clear indication that those banking on the next AirPods Pro having a different charging system may well be. Discussions about the shift to USB-C for Apple products has been feverish recently and is expected to happen with the iPhone 15 in 2023 at the earliest. But that doesn't mean other products couldn't make the switch before then, and AirPods Pro 2 seem like a key opportunity. On the other hand, if Apple is going to make the Lightning to USB-C switch, then maybe it would want the iPhone to be the next big product to change connectors, not the AirPods, Magic Mouse or Android-level iPad, for instance.